We are all uh, quite sad for you because we understand it's difficult for you to come here after this defeat. But we would like to know how do you feel if it's really uh, depressing, frustrating, or you can still smile. I can still smile. Thank you. It's fine. I cried, but now I'm smiling. Um, it's just a tennis match in the end. But uh, yeah, I'm really sad. I couldn't uh, win it. I was close again, but the guess was over in the end, so she was better, she was uh, fresher and she could uh, give, she, she had actually more energy in the end. After so many difficult matches earlier in the tournament, how were you feeling physically going into it and then throughout the match, did it have an effect? Yeah, for sure, because um, I was uh, really tired and uh, I had so many problems at my feet, uh, pain everywhere, but uh, you know, I think uh, I did pretty well uh, with all the things that uh, were going on. Um, after the first set, I just w was out. I don't know what happened. No energy, no um, power. But then uh, I just said that I have to hit all the balls. And then I could take the second set. I came back in the third set, but when I had to serve for 5-3, the gas was gone. So I couldn't make it. and. It's a bit sad. So, uh, I mean, over time, you've you've had these tough matches, and your mentality has improved. Are you particularly proud of how you fought right to the end today? Yeah, I am, and uh, I did hundred percent what I could today. Um, that's why I can uh, say that uh, I'm I'm not sad for that. I'm sad that I lost the match. I was not the winner, but. Uh, you know, life goes on and uh, for sure in the future, if I keep working like this and I keep playing like this, I will be in a good position again. You said in your speech after the French Open last year, maybe I wasn't ready. Did you feel ready today? Yes, I felt ready, but um, uh, the body was not ready because I had so many long matches and uh, the muscles were tired, um, the feet were not, uh, not good enough. But mentally, I was ready, uh, and I feel that um, I can uh, face any challenge. Uh, I can play against anyone. I can win against anyone, but just um, sometimes it's not how you want because you cannot physically do it. So does this, does this feel very different to the, the first two slam finals? Yeah, and uh, I think was different with everything. I played better. Um, I didn't move uh, as I wanted because I couldn't, but um, the game was okay, uh, men mental, the mental part was okay, so uh, I think I, I have improved a lot this tournament and I'm leaving uh, Australia with many good thoughts and uh, many positive things because what I've done these two weeks, I never did in the past, so it's okay. Does it, it also help to know that people like Kim Kleisters, Chris Evert, they lost a few finals first and then they went on to win? <laughs> yeah, but I want to win one because I'm still losing and I'm still waiting. Maybe the fourth one will be with luck, as I said. What did your coach say to you after the match tonight? Uh, he said that he's really proud of uh, me, uh, of what I've done this tournament. He said that uh, I've been I've been the best mentally, uh, yeah, mentally and physically as well, fighting till the end. So he's happy about uh, my performance. There was a moment in the match when you thought uh, you could do maybe something different, or that you regret more than another one, or no? Not really, because maybe first set I uh, should uh, hit the ball like I did in the second and the third set, but I just said uh, that. I still have energy to, to play with her, but it was maybe a mistake. In the tiebreak, I should uh, be more aggressive. But as I said, um, energy was not enough. And uh, that's why maybe I couldn't concentrate and I couldn't take the risk. Do you think that you've figured out how to play? Like the certain game style that you've played over the last two weeks and in Shenzhen as well, more aggressive, even under duress and under you know, break points still going for it, that it's clear in your head now? Yeah, it's clear and I started to feel it pretty well. So I will keep doing that. First, I will have a break. <laughs> long. <laughs> I need to... How long? How long? I don't tell you. Uh, 
But when, yeah. oh, sorry. when did you have cramps? I mean, uh, second set. But then I was better. In the third set, I was better, but still the pain was there. How relieved were you at the uh, heat rule? How? The, the, how relieved were you about the heat rule and that you could have that 10 minute break? It was really good when I uh, was standing, uh, staying uh, in the air conditioning <laughs> in the locker room, but uh, I feel that was a little bit too much and maybe cut me a little bit. Uh, but I needed it for the breathing, for the head, because I had headache during the match. And uh, was it's a good rule when, when you feel that you need it. Was that why you saw the doctor, because you had a headache? Yeah, dizzy and headache. So when you mentioned that your, your feet weren't perfect either, were you, did you have blisters or, or anything no, else, or just tired? Uh, the tendons, pain. In the ankle or the feet? The feet. It's swollen, my my right one. So both of them are dead. <laughs> That's why I need break. But on, on the subject of the ankle, I mean, after, after that first round match, if somebody had told you when you were being treated that you would be here on Saturday, would you believe them? No, no, because it was really bad and uh, uh, was like hurting every day. And in the practice, I couldn't practice more than 10, 15 minutes. So every day I just played uh, to feel the ball. 15 minutes and that that was it. Um, I didn't believe that I can go through all these matches, but I want it and uh, looks like uh, I have enough inside power to, to fight with everything. So it's a good thing and uh, this tournament meant a lot for me. You need to get an MRI on the ankle now? The yeah, tournament. both feet. <laughs> the feet actually, so when I go home. Match, uh, you had 50 winners. And today you are you are, you had many net approaches, many swing volleys. Uh, do you feel that your game is changing to more aggressive? And do you practice that in your when you when you go to the practice? Yeah, um, I do that, and um, I have set in my mind that I have to be more aggressive. That's why I'm going to the net. But today my legs were not going, were not fast enough. Uh, but still, I did some uh, some points there. She was running very well, and she responded very, very well. Um, she does that all the time, so um, a lot of credit to her. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with the way I played. Maybe a little bit more energy and a little bit more power. Maybe I could have uh, won this match.